I do have women that will ask me about genetic testing. And not everyone needs to be genetically tested or even to think about having genetic counseling or testing. There are certain uh, criteria that we use in identifying patients that are going to be at higher risk for potentially having a gene. So when we see someone who's diagnosed premenopausally, particularly if she was in her 30s, and definitely if she was in her 20s, then we're going to have a serious discussion about considering having a genetics evaluation. Also, when we see family history, a first-degree relative, her mother, her sister, her daughter, who's been previously diagnosed, if there's multiple breast cancers on the same family chain, so maternal side or paternal side. Paternal, I want to mention to you too, because we oftentimes forget about the dad. You know, we got half of our DNA from our fathers, and uh, we have a tendency to think, well, I don't have it on my mom's side, so I don't have to worry about it. It's equal whether it be on mom's or dad's side. We also look at other kinds of cancers that are linked genetically with breast. Ovarian cancer is, melanoma, colorectal, and pancreatic cancer. Now we don't understand why they are genetically linked, but they are. I don't like to encourage women to go and get tested until they've had genetic counseling. Somebody said to me one time, well, it's just a simple blood test. And I said, oh yeah, so is uh, getting blood drawn for a pregnancy test. It's just a simple test. The ramifications of the results are something that is going to be life altering. And though with a pregnancy test, you can wait it out and figure it out on your own. With genetics, you do have to have that blood drawn and analyzed in order to determine if you do in fact carry BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene. For women who do, they've got between a 65 and 80% risk of getting breast cancer. That's a big number, a number that I wouldn't be comfortable trying to sleep with, and I also don't think that patients should be. And I tell them that. I say, are you going to be comfortable realizing that if you don't take action of some sort, that you have a 65 to 80% risk of ending up with this disease? Most of the time, women will say that they do want to be proactive, that they want to do surgery, and the surgery that we recommend is to do bilateral prophylactic mastectomy with simultaneous reconstruction. So when I have the uh, privilege of seeing one of these women who is genetically positive, particularly if she's coming in for preventative surgery, she has not been diagnosed and wants to head this off of the pass, I tell her she's going to go in the operating room with two breasts, but she's still going to come out with two breasts. But the two breasts that she comes out with that we have rebuilt are going to be made of healthy tissue that hopefully will not grow breast cancer in the future.